Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Killing Eve Season 3 Finale Preview, Episode 8. It's coming. It's the last episode of the season. I don't know how we got here so fast, but here we are. It has gone by in the blink of an eye. It is so quick. It is just, we're already here. It feels like it just started, and what? now we're about to wait for the very long wait for new episodes. I wish I could snap my fingers like that. Okay, there For we go. All us. right. Well, before we talk through a lot of these theories, if you guys do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We also have a full reaction to this episode on the channel already, so be sure to check that out. Yep. All right, let's, let's start big picture. I, I've got a theory for how I think all this is going to go. All right, let's hear it. I, I feel like we are being set up now so that inevitably, even Villanelle, they're going to work their way back to each other. Mm -hmm. Villanelle's not going to feel like she has pretty much anyone else to rely on other mm -hmm. than Eve. Eve can be sort of, you know, her, her North Star, her compass, like somebody who she can sort of work alongside and that the two of them will push forward. But mm -hmm. I also think it's possible Carolyn sort of becomes mm -hmm. like a third part of this metaphorical Avengers group who all sort of teams up. Maybe it's just wishful thinking because I'm sort of feeling like getting Carolyn with these other two characters would alleviate all my Carolyn problems, but that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to live in a world where that happens. I feel like we are on... This season has been the setup for going after the 12, and I do think that we are going to have Villanelle and Eve you know, teaming up for next season. They're going to get together. They both have serious motivation to take them down. Whether or not we're going to see Carolyn sort of being part of that, I think we're going to see her to some degree. I think she'll sort of be a resource that will come in because she obviously has motivation too. We all feel like they killed Kenny. So she's, I think she's going to be a resource. She is going to be there. She is going to help. But I really think they're gearing up for season four to be... Eve and Villanelle. At least that's where I want my head to be because we have had almost nothing of these two. It has been seven episodes. We've had one bus scene together and now this on the train platform where they waved at each other. That's it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I do think the bus scene is probably one of their more memorable scenes in the series run, but it is one scene where they have actually spent a significant amount of time together. And by significant, we're still talking like a few minutes yeah, at most. That's it's it. It's not anything that much more dramatic. So I feel like there's there's a lot of criticism about the lack of the two of them together. I think this is all going to sort of turn back around in season four. Because I also think for Eve at this point... It's not like she really has that many other directions to sort of turn either because Nico has sort of already made it clear in very, very few words exactly how he feels. I don't know if he's factoring into anything at this point. He needs to not factor into anything anymore. That story is done. Let Eve move on. Let us all move on. What I think we're kind of going to in this finale, or at least this is what I'm hoping we're going to see yeah. in the finale. So we've got Villanelle on this path right now where she's kind of like, I'm done with the 12. I want to know, you know, Constantine, where's the money? Oh, here's a piece of paper. Okay, cool. See ya. And she gets on the train to go get the money. It's felt a lot like she's ready to do something else. She's going to leave the 12. She's going to go on her own and, and she's done. Eve, on the other hand, feels like she's running towards the 12. She's trying to find a way to take them down. She's looking for Villanelle. And I think this time we're going to have a, a cool shift by this last episode where it's going to be Eve that's going to pull Villanelle back into this, which is what I love about the show, this back and forth and pull and push. And I feel like it's going to be Eve that's going to pull her out of, hey, I'm going to take this money and go to Cuba and bye-bye. I think what the, the real fun of this idea, if it's in the finale or if it's in season four, is the idea of we've seen so many of these sort of picturesque shots on Killing Eve, a Villanelle waking up in this, you know, really just like beautiful estate or with all of these like really top of the line fashions and all of this. But this idea 
in season four if she doesn't end up getting the money or she has to find her own way? What is it like if she just ends up being like Eve's roommate or something like that and just has to just deal with a completely altered lifestyle? We know that Villanelle is so, so much about, you know, what she wants when she wants it. The chaotic energy in this idea is so glorious that I, 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 I want to see Villanelle forced to deal with an entirely different set of circumstances where here she has someone who accepts her on some level in Eve, even though she did almost kill Eve. But I think in doing that, she may lose a lot of everything else that she kind of wants and craves. That last scene, we talked a little bit about this in the review, but I mean, that last scene, I think, is setting up this finale really well and setting us up into season four. So this whole season has been about Villanelle feeling abandoned. Her mom abandoned her when she was a child and abandoned her again as an adult. Constantine was gonna abandon her too. Yeah, I'm taking off with my kid. Yeah, we'll come back for you. No, the, the 12 doesn't really want her. Nobody really wants her. And her breakup with Eve at the end of season two where Eve was like, no, I'm not coming with you. She really is in this spot in her head where she felt like I have no family. I have nobody who cares about me. I am alone wolf so goodbye so that last scene i think really is opening the door to something else for villanelle because after everything that eve has done to her and she is unto eve to have eve running down the platform at her that face being like oh, like oh my god hi oh what you're here you're here like i accept you no matter what i think is going to be the big turning point for the finale Killing Eve is, I think, a lot about sort of connections. And I think the irony here is that Villanelle is a character who does disconnect so much. But I think she does value this idea of acceptance that she's not getting from a lot of other people. And I think what's going to be so fascinating if these two do end up working together is... Villanelle has burned a lot of bridges. Vill Villanelle is on an island because there are no bridges left. Where does she turn and who is going to want to help her? Because the Constantine of it all to me is really, really interesting now because he's not exactly Team the Twelve, but he may not exactly be Team Villanelle either. They have both betrayed each other at this point many times over. They have, but maybe Constantine's in a situation where he has no choice but to depend on her. I mean, his daughter's now in a detention center. He's not going to be leaving to go to Cuba anymore. He's got Paul breathing down his neck. The 12 are all over. He may also be in a situation where he doesn't really know where to turn. And I kind of wonder if he's going to be almost like a Carolyn as well, where it's going to be he's a resource to the two of them. Because at this point, seven episodes in, I need from this finale to give me Eve and Villanelle together. Like for as much as I've liked this season, there has been a lot of directionless storytelling here that hasn't really given me what I expect from this show. And I'm expecting it in the finale that if I've gone through the journey, I wanna get to the reward. I think there's going to be a reward. I, I, I feel pretty hopeful that we're going to have a lot of even Villanelle. I'm more nervous about everything else. I'm more nervous that we meandered on this long journey with Carolyn's daughter and Constantine. And it's like the only payoff of it is really just the two of them having a confrontation. And that's it. I, yeah. I, I'm okay. So let me put that out there. Who do you think yeah. is going to not make it out of this finale alive? Anybody? Do you think we're going to lose anybody? I kind of don't think we will, except maybe Dasha. But, I, I mean, I don't know how impactful that's going to end up being because we just met her. I think I would be surprised if they got rid of Dasha, just because I feel like if you're not going to kill Dasha in this episode, you have to have a purpose. I, I hope you have a purpose for her and you're not leaving her alive for the sake of leaving her alive. I... It's kind of hard because a lot of the deaths these season, this season or attempted deaths haven't led to much. Like, I thought when Kenny died at the beginning of the season that this was going to be 
a heavyweight death that was really going to form a lot of these characters to bring the band back together and that never happened and then Nico got stabbed in the throat and not a lot really came out of that either that was Dasha's whole huge plan to break up everybody and it didn't do anything except make Nico mad and like that's it I I gotta believe that because I, I there's a part of me the night that felt like they were gonna kill Constantine because I just sort of felt like okay is this the end of whatever purpose they had in mind for him but they didn't so like with Dasha they must have a plan for him I am going to say that they are going to kill Helena. And I think that is sort of the move if you want to completely upset a balance of power. There's, it's not like she is the 12. There's a lot of other chaos there in the 12. Yeah. That may be enough to sort of hint at where they're going. I know she's not an extremely memorable character. You know, if, because like if they kill Carolyn's daughter, I, I, I love the actress, but are we really going to be that upset about it? No, and I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Geraldine got killed at this point because it does seem like what Carolyn said, that they're kind of just killing everybody around her. They've killed Kenny, they've killed Mo, to kill Geraldine. Okay, they're just isolating her at this point, but, you know, is it really going to have any kind of impact? I don't want to watch Carolyn sitting in her apartment anymore. No, I, I, we got to see her out there doing stuff, which is why... <laughs> Give me the Killing Eve Avengers, please. I will be so grateful for season four, even though I realize I'm going to have to wait a long time, but still. Now, there's a little bit of me that's wondering if this episode is going to be more of a Killing Eve treasure hunt. Because now that we know that Villanelle is looking for this money, I don't know where this money is. I'm assuming that Constantina has it buried somewhere or in a really intricate spot for her to try to find this money. So there's a little part of me that's wondering if that's where we're going to go in this finale. I'm really hoping not, but that seems to be the path that she's on. I'm really hoping it's just going to be, oh, it's in the safety deposit box. Just go get it. Done that. Now bring us together with Eve. Let's have Eve convince Villanelle. Get back in the game. Let's go take care of the 12. Set us up for season four. And then just, yeah, just do that in the finale. I, this is the thing. I love the way season one and two ended. I don't want to see somebody else's life in jeopardy in the closing seconds of this season unless it is really, really well thought out and cool because this doesn't need to become some sort of like hacky tradition where every season they got to almost kill or kill someone or that these two kill tried to kill each other you know eva stabbed villanelle villanelle was shot eve they're even let's just move into something else i don't need it to then be they yeah. get back together after not being together all season and one of them tries to kill the other one again like that just it needs to be just done for a little while yeah and like i said if you guys come up with something that's really, really cool, I will eat my words and I will be like, you know what? That's cool. I buy into it, but I'm worried. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. All right. What do you guys want to see on the Killing Eve season three finale? Let us know in the comments. It's almost here. And if you guys did like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.